Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printer here. In today's video, I'll be doing a review of Flask Mic SQL DB because I haven't created a video on it in a really long time. And also, I'll be showing you how to get your queries to be in a better format so they can be used in your app. And that would make more sense when I get to that point. So, to show you what I have so far, I have a simple table example set up with two entries in it, tests and Flask. So what I'll do is I'll start writing the app to use Flask MySQL DB. And if you've seen the previous two videos, you know it's pretty simple. So import Flask, import MySQL DB, and then instantiate the app. And after I do this, I'll have to create all the configurations. So configuration for this MySQL host, and I'll fill this in in a moment. And then I have my SQL user. My SQL password, if I can spell config. And then finally, my SQL DB for the actual database name. Then I'll instantiate the app or instantiate Flask my SQL. So I'll pass in my SQL and the app there. And then I'll do the if block below. Okay, so I'll create a route on the index that's going to do something. But first, let me actually put in the configuration values. So I'll copy and paste them over. I'm using free MySQL DB for this. And then the username and the database are the same. And then finally the password. So in the index, what I want to do is I want to query for everything. So what I'll do is create the cursor first. So mysql.connection.cursor. And the cursor will be a pointer to the eventual results. So cursor.execute will run a query for me. So select ID and data from example where ID equals, oh, let's just select everything. I have two entries in there. And then return value, I'll fetch all from the, cur from the cursor. And then I'll return a string version of this. So I'll create return just so you can see it and I'll just add it it's the simplest and closing okay so let's try running this I'll go to my app I think I need to start the server first okay so I'll go to the index and I see that um, I have one and two for the first value of a tuple and test and flask. So that's exactly what's in my database. So what I meant by having something that's easier to work with, instead of having tuples, which can be a little tricky to work with, dictionaries would be a lot better. So to do that, there's a configuration value in my SQL DB and it's called cursor class. So I'll just copy that. And what this does is it changes the way the results get returned to you. So my SQL cursor class, I'll take it the spaces. And what you want is a dictionary cursor. So dict cursor. And then when I run this again, this should change. And we see it's now a dictionary instead of a tuple. And this makes it a lot easier to work with. So if I want to access one value, so if I say something like, Uh, RV of zero. So let's see if that returns something. Doesn't. So I need to convert it to a list first. So list, and that will give me the best result. Oh, and the reason why that's not working, I actually think uh, a tuple would be fine but I can convert it to a list later. The reason why it's not working is because I'm accessing a dictionary. 
So if I do RV zero and then ID, I get something. And I need to convert that all to a string to fit in my header tags. Okay, so I have one for the first results. And if I use data, then I have test. And if I go to one instead, I get flask. And if I convert this to a list like I was going to do before, it just changes the format, but it still access the data the same way. So it still works. And if I change this back to just a string value of the results, then I see it's in the list. So it's up to you if you want to use a list or a tuple for the outside, but inside is definitely better to use the dictionary. So if I use RV of one and then I call it data, I should see the other value. So in this case, flask, which is exactly what I see. And that's really all I wanted to see. Um, because when you're running your app, it's best to kind of convert this to a list and a dictionary cursor. So if you're looping through it in a template, say, you could easily access all the values instead of trying to figure out what is where in the tuple because there's no actual key to represent each value. So finally, I'll review how to insert, which is pretty simple. App route, let's call this add one or just add. I want to insert a string value and we'll just call it insert. And then add insert. I'll create the cursor again, my SQL connection cursor. And then I'll execute an insert statement. So insert into example, which is my table name. And I have ID and data. And then values will be strings. And what I'm going to insert is next ID, which is a variable I'll create in just a moment and whatever I put in insert. So I need to close this out and then let's say next ID is three. Once you insert, you have to commit. So my SQL dot connection dot commit, and then you can continue on with your app. So I'll say done. So if I go to the add route and pass in Python, I get done. I'll check my database to see if it's been updated with a new row. It has. And then I'll run the original route to see the results. So I'll go back to just displaying the return value, which is this list now, and I have Python there. And of course, if I want to return the single one, it's at the second index, and then let's say data. And one last thing I want to show you, if you're using, for instance, uh, something that uses a function in the query, so example would be, I'll comment out this query and I'll create a, a new one. Let's say you want to sum all the ID values. So in this case, the sum would be six. So to have that represented as something because ID won't quite work. So let's see. I'll just string the return value again. So I get a six, which is correct for the sum, but the, the key is sum ID, which is something I don't want. So in this case, you just use an alias. So as ID, uh, let's say lowercase ID to keep it consistent. And then when I run it, I get the ID. And then I can simply call ID here and I get the value. So we see 
uh, if I want to use the dictionary cursor, I just have to have an alias inside of the query. So that's pretty simple to do. Um, MySQL DB is pretty simple. If you're looking to try other things in Flask for accessing a database, check out prettyprinted.com. I have a course up on how to use uh, Flask SQL Alchemy, the basics of it. And then I also have a couple of other courses where you can uh, simply use a database in a different way. So check those out on prettyprinted.com. If you have any questions about this video, uh, just leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this and I will talk to you next time.